my biggest problems that I have in my landscape is a disease called powdery mildew. And I see it on lots of different plants in the landscape. And a lot of that has to do with uh, my children play in the sprinkler quite a bit. Powdery mildew is a little bit different than some other fungal diseases because you don't just, you don't need free moisture on the leaves. You can have powdery mildew with just a little bit of humidity in the air. So if I see it earlier in the season, it's something that I'm gonna be dealing with throughout the summer. It actually almost becomes more aggressive when the temperatures warm up. I've noticed that on my squash and cucumbers, I'm already starting to see powdery mildew. And so I wanna go ahead and take some action so that we'll have a good crop. Uh, powdery mildew doesn't usually kill the plant, but it reduces photosynthesis because it looks like powder is obscuring, uh, been sprinkled on those leaves and it's preventing as much photosynthesis as you would normally get. So you get reduced yields. With powdery mildew, there's a lot of things that you can do just culturally to reduce the level of disease. Number one, try not to run the sprinkler all the time. Uh, since I can't do that, the next step I'm gonna take is to try to remove it when I see it. So I'm going to pick off the leaves that are showing that fungus. The next step is promoting good air circulation. So with squash, a lot of times those leaves that are lower on the plant aren't getting as much sunlight and they tend to be weaker and that's usually where you see the powdery mildew first. So I'm simply just, when I see a leaf starting to discolor a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it and throw it away. You can also, if you have a lot of leaves on top of each other, just do some thinning. Remove some of those leaves so that you have better airflow. It's also gonna expose the blooms a little bit more so that pollinators can get in there more effectively. Um, another issue that <laughs> we have here is it's important to remember to properly plant your plants. The squash is doing well, but I have a cucumber uh, that's also showing evidence of powdery mildew, and this should have been trellised. Uh, we had good intentions, it just hasn't happened yet, and so part of the reason why there's a lot of these little powdery spots is it's a lot more humid and wet near the ground, so there's a lot more disease pressure. Once I get this up on the stake, or we're actually gonna put a little trellis up here, then we're gonna see a lot less of the disease. And our goal, really focus on that new growth, make sure that it's coming out healthy. One thing to mention at the beginning of the season, it's a little late now, but there is a lot of resistance to powdery mildew and other diseases in both seeds and transplants. So if you've had a problem with a disease like this in the past, take a little bit of time to figure out if what you're purchasing has resistance. Um, resistance is an immunity, but it, it is good tolerance and usually you can still get a good crop in the presence of disease. Uh, one thing I will mention is that sometimes we want, might want to spray fungicides. One of the best fungicides to control powdery mildew is sulfur. And it's great for plants like roses and fruit trees, but it's actually not labeled for vegetables such as squash and cucumbers. And the reason for that, it can actually burn and damage your plants. So you don't wanna apply sulfur to these plants. As an alternative, a good product to use is something that contains an oil. Um, so when you spray that oil on the plants, it actually kind of burns up the fungus. So it can almost have a little bit of a curative ability. And there's a lot of formulations of oils that are organic. So it tends to be suitable in most landscapes, especially since we have pollinators flying around. You wanna make sure you're doing those applications when those pollinators aren't present. And as it does get hotter in the summer, those oils, once you get into the mid 90s, can actually burn plants too. So you may have to hold off on those applications during hot weather periods. Most of the time in our landscape, we're able to manage powdery mildew and still get a good crop just with the cultural methods but you have a little bit of information about chemicals if you do need to go that route. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. 
You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.